Hi, I'm Gavin Hodgson, fly fishing instructor and manager of Granger's Fishing Tackle here in South Kensington, London. We're going to talk you through some of the techniques and tips and help you get started in fishing. Tuna and big game species. To, to briefly cover all of the eventualities that that, that, that entails, uh, we've got a number of methods we can use. The conventional, the trolling method, obviously we're going to be relying on the, the skipper to take us to the, the place where to catch these fish. And outfits up to the very heavy duty, which this is a 50 pound class. This is a kind of outfit that we'd use for the biggest, biggest species and trolling large lures and trolling at depth. Now obviously your skipper will keep you posted on things like that. So lures such as the Bonito and the Redhead, always popular. What we do advise, changing trebles. These treble hooks, great for most of your inshore species, but for your big guys, then we've got to upgrade both the treble hook and the split rings. Split ring pliers, obviously going to help you on that matter, otherwise you'll bust every fingernail. The other methods, trolling, smaller lures, that brings us on to surface, surface techniques. Now tuna are a deep diving fish of course, but they do feed at the surface. They'll follow schools of bait fish and they'll crash at the surface occasionally. And it's at those times that we can use poppers and fish at the surface for big fish. Now obviously, your regular spinning outfit's not going to be much use for that sort of thing. When we've got those coupled up with the heavy hooks, we need a heavy popping outfit. Now this rod here is designed for popping, but it's as strong as a boat rod. So it's as strong as the likes of this sort of rod, but it's a much more manageable outfit for most people to fish. Becoming very popular, these reels now, this is the top of the range Shimano, and the drag system on here is as strong, if not stronger, than most of your conventional trolling reels. We would rig this with probably a minimum of 50 pound strength braid, and with a braid line, we can get a lot on there, and hopefully we'll aim to get on 400 to 500 yards of braided line to fill the spool. Obviously fishing with a heavy drag, when a tuna dives, it's gonna dive deep, and the fights are obviously very lengthy, so you need a strong reel. That's a very important part of the kit. Fly fishing for tuna is about as extreme as it gets. We do carry the flies. We carry a lot of bait fish patterns from very small bait fish patterns for your smaller tuna species, right up to huge mackerel patterns. Some of them with tandem lures, tandem hook rigs, and all designed to take the predator tuna. Now, whatever method we're using, Obviously landing the fish is going to take some time, so it's a, quite a lengthy battle, quite a, quite a tough fight, and, uh, and probably about as extreme as fishing gets. But you're also going to encounter lots of other species at the same time, so you've got to go prepared. Now, things like stronger fly lines. Most fly lines, if we're fly fishing for tuna, this is, this is a 600 grain fly line. It's designed for that. It's designed with a really tough core, so it's a, I think it's a 65 pound, 65 pound core and it's going to sink very fast. Now it's not that we've got to get down really deep for these fish, but we've got to get the fly down quick to where they're cruising, and it might only be a few feet down. But we're casting patterns like this on a fly line like that to get down quick to them. Now shock tip, it is very important. Tuna don't have great big sharp teeth, or most of them don't, but they do have very abrasive mouths and lots of teeth in there, so we tend to fish a shock tippet, or we fish a wire, and, uh, and that's a very important part of your kit also. Fly fishing for tuna obviously needs a very heavy fly rod. Here we go, a number four, number 12 weight fly rod with a, the biggest fly reel we have, which is a T-Ball Pacific. In certain situations, we will even go up to a heavier fly rod if you're chasing the bigger species. And in another brand, we carry a 15 weight, which is obviously a boat rod fitted with fly rod fittings and designed for that sort of thing. Thanks. So there you have it, everything we need for fish for tuna. Obviously the most important thing is your, your boat, your skipper, he's gonna take you out there. But uh, a variety of methods, 
and using good shades, everything else, it's all there.